Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, blue shaded quadrilateral uh, BFD fully confined uh, in a right triangle uh, ABC as you can see in this uh, diagram such that uh, this angle uh, BAC is 45 degrees and this uh, angle uh, ADE is uh, 90 degrees and moreover this segment uh, AE is uh, four uh, units and this segment uh, EB is uh, two units and furthermore uh, this uh, segment uh, BF is five units and finally this segment uh, FC is one unit and now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, blue shaded region please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% uh, true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's recall the triangle sum theorem. The sum of three interior angles in a triangle is always uh, 180 degrees. Now let's focus uh, on this uh, big right triangle ABC. We know this angle is uh, 45 degrees. This angle is uh, 90 degrees. So no wonder this angle has got to be 45 degrees and likewise uh, in this uh, right triangle uh, ADE we know this angle is 45 degrees uh, this angle is 90 degrees so therefore this angle has got to be 45 degrees and in this uh, next step we are going to calculate uh, the ratio of this segment uh, to this uh, segment uh, on this side AC and in this uh, next step I have dropped this perpendicular uh, BP that is uh, parallel to this line uh, ED as you can see in this uh, diagram. And now let's recall uh, triangle proportionality theorem. If a line parallel to one side uh, of the triangle intersects uh, the other two sides uh, then it divides the sides uh, proportionally. As you can see in this given triangle uh, ABC with the two parallel lines AB and DE and as a result we're going to have a ratio of A divided by B is going to be equal to C divided by D. So therefore we can see that our this uh, right triangle AD is similar to this uh, bigger right triangle uh, APB according to angle angle uh, similarity theorem. So therefore we are going to have a proportion the ratio of uh, DP and AD is going to be equal to the ratio of BE and uh, AE and now we can see our BE length uh, is uh, two units whereas our this uh, AE segment uh, length uh, is uh, four units and now if we reduce uh, two divided by four is same as one uh, divided by two in other words, uh, if this segment uh, DP is uh, 1, then this uh, segment uh, AD is going to be 2. So therefore, uh, this whole uh, segment uh, AP is going to be 2 plus 1 is going to make uh, 3. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this triangle uh, ABC is an isosceles uh, triangle and BP is the perpendicular. So therefore uh, this uh, AP length uh, is going to be equal to PC length. If this uh, AP length is uh, 3 then PC length has got to be 3 as well. And now we can see this uh, DC length uh, is going to be 1 plus 3 is going to make uh, 4 and we know our uh, AD length uh, is uh, 2. So therefore we conclude that the ratio of this segment uh, AD and the ratio of this segment uh, CD is uh, 2 to 4. And now let's recall this uh, crucial fact. Triangles with the same uh, height will have areas whose ratio is uh, same as the ratio of their uh, basis as you can see in this given uh, diagram here we got uh, these uh, two triangles the red triangle and the blue triangle both of these triangle have the same height 
such that the base uh, of this uh, red triangle is uh, x whereas the base of this uh, blue triangle is uh, y then the ratio of uh, red triangle uh, area to the blue triangle area is going to be equal to x uh, divided by y and now we are going to apply the very same uh, concept uh, in this uh, given problem and in this uh, next step I have connected this point B with this point uh, D and now let's focus uh, on this uh, triangle uh, ABD that consists of these uh, two individual uh, triangles and both of these uh, triangles uh, have the same uh, height and we know this uh, base for this triangle uh, is 4 whereas the base for this other triangle uh, is uh, 2 so therefore uh, their uh, area ratio is going to be 2 divided by 4 if we reduce uh, 2 and 4 that is going to give us uh, 1 uh, divided by 2 so therefore if the area of this uh, triangle is 1 then the area of this uh, other triangle is going to be 2 so thus we conclude that the area ratios for these uh, two triangles is 1 to 2 and now let's focus uh, on this uh, other triangle uh, B C D that consists of these uh, two individual uh, triangles and both uh, of these uh, triangles have the same uh, height and now let's focus on their uh, area ratios we know that uh, this uh, base uh, is 5 whereas uh, this base is 1 so therefore uh, their area ratio is going to be 1 divided by 5 in other words if the area of this uh, triangle uh, is 5 then the area of this uh, triangle is going to be 1 so therefore we conclude that the area of this uh, whole uh, triangle ABC is going to be some of these uh, individual areas 1 plus 5 plus 1 plus 2 if we add them that is going to give us uh, 9 so therefore the area of this uh, triangle ABC turns out to be 9 let me call this our equation uh, number 1 and now let's focus once again on this uh, triangle uh, ABC and we are going to calculate uh, its uh, numeric uh, area and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area equals to a half times uh, base uh, times height and in our case uh, this uh, is uh, our uh, base and base uh, is 5 plus 1 uh, makes uh, 6 units and likewise the height uh, of this uh, triangle is going to be 2 plus 4 is going to make 6 so therefore uh, height uh, of this uh, triangle is going to be 6 so therefore let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula so we got 1 divided by 2 our base is 6 and height is 6 uh, as well and if we simplify everything that is going to give us uh, 18 so therefore the area of this triangle uh, ABC turns out to be 18 square units let me call this our equation uh, number 2 and here we got these uh, two equations number 1 uh, and number 2 and now we are going to compare uh, these uh, two equations and we can see the left hand sides are uh, identical so therefore we can uh, equate the right hand sides as well so therefore our circle 9 uh, value turns out to be equal to 18 on the right hand side and now let's divide both sides by 9 so therefore we conclude that uh, circle 1 value turns out to be 2 and now let's focus uh, on this uh, blue shaded region uh, area is simply 1 plus 5 is going to be circle 6 and we know circle 1 equals to 2 so therefore I'm going to multiply this one by 2 so therefore this turns out to be 12 square units so thus the area of this uh, blue shaded region turns out to be 12 square units thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye